The insanely popular Dragon Con is back, happening this weekend here in Atlanta. And what was once considered a niche event has exploded in popularity, thanks in large part to the success of recent superhero movies. A big draw for the 65,000 that will be attending the convention is the world of cosplay. And for you newbies, that's when you dress up like a character from a series or film made popular in the sci-fi and comic book genre. But it's not just a hobby. For some, it can be a really awesome career that also net some serious social media stardom and joining me now is superstar cosplayer Yaya Han and Jen Sapp, a self-proclaimed newbie and big cosplay fan. Thank you guys both for joining us. Your costumes are ridiculous, amazing, awesome, yeah. all in the same <laughs> breath. Yaya, I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. What's the inspiration behind your costume and what is it? Oh, thanks so much for having me on. This is Xiao Jun from the Assassin's Creed China Chronicles video game. Okay. We all know the costume that Jen is wearing, obviously, Wonder Woman. I used to have the underoos for that costume when I was little. <laughs> you look awesome in it. Why did you decide yeah. to wear the Wonder Woman costume? I decided this year? to go with the traditional Linda Carter from the 1970s television show, and she is a powerhouse, and I think that I am a powerhouse and she embodies everything that the, the you know, regular woman would want to be, and I exude power in my suit, and that's yeah. how I feel. You look amazing. Thank well, you so much. <laughs> What's interesting to me is that you guys both chose really powerful mm -hmm. Of course. Women. I think it's about uh, sort of being a bigger person than you are. I think cosplaying can give you a lot of confidence. It can sort of tap into parts of you that, you know, you yourself may not have the uh, courage to do. But if you're in a costume, it will make you feel so much uh, larger than life. Yeah, yeah. I want to read some social stats of yours. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. you have over <laughs> 221,000 Instagram followers. That's a lot. Holy <laughs> moly. Even just looking at this, I'm saying that's a lot. 1.5 million fans. Facebook like. Uh. How yeah. did you turn this hobby into a career? Because it is a career. Oh for gosh! You. Well, I've been cosplaying for gosh about 16 years now. Mm -hmm. Discovered it just as a long-term fan of uh, manga, anime, video games, and such. And um, so the social media status sort of comes from, I guess, my persistence and just being in the community for so long. And um, I didn't get into it to become well known or anything. Right. It really is a passion for life. And I still make all of my own costumes and I still stay true to the same um, values that, that got me into cosplay So in the first you place. made this? Of course, I, made, oh, I make all wow, of my costumes. Oh wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Jen, you're a newbie to this whole thing, so why'd you want to get into it? I'm less than a year into the world of cosplay. Mm -hmm. I got into it because of my partner, as you'll see, he's Wolverine. We do this together, he helps me with my costume, he helps me get into my costume. I want to shift gears a little bit because uh, women have become a big part of cosplay and, you, and yes, they haven't always been huge such a part. huge part of cosplay mm -hmm. and now you guys are. And there's sort of an issue that you're facing now which is body image, right? A lot of cartoon characters are depicted as super sexy with the mm -hmm. most ridiculous bodies, mm -hmm. unattainable bodies you've ever seen in your entire life. You're fighting well, back. I, I think that cosplay in itself is a fan expression, which means that no matter who you are, what you look like, what ethnicity, skin tone, uh, or body type, you should be able to dress up as whatever character you want. Mm -hmm. There should be no difference between someone wearing a Wonder Woman t-shirt and a Wonder Woman costume. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really doesn't matter if you, you know, it, if you fit um, another person's vision of a character, um, you're not doing this for them. You're doing mm -hmm. it for yourself yeah so it's like it's bringing your vision of a character to life and, and what about the haters online because there are people that are online who cares that are I, that are mm -hmm. saying mean things and saying you shouldn't be wearing that I used to be a size 4 yeah. I had an eating disorder during that time but mm -hmm. through growing up I've decided I'm okay with being a size 14 and has being a part of this community and putting on these costumes has it empowered you a little bit Absolutely. It's empowered me to tell women it's okay to be in that costume mm -hmm. if it makes you feel good. And maybe it's about getting more women into the comic book industry. How about that? Well, that yeah. is like something we drawing. certainly yeah. all have right? been trying to do. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Jen, Yaya, mm -hmm. you guys look incredible. Thank you so much. You are going to kill you. it at Cosplay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate Thank you for having it. Us. Yeah. Those two ladies are getting a run for their money because I'm here with Strider. We referred to as Hip Hop Trooper earlier today. Strider, man, I'm How we the doing? bling and everything. Well, thank you, man. You I got to come safe. out my best. It's Dragon Con. I got to look my best. Yeah, listen, I, I just, I've always wondered because I was considering about applying for the dark side. I, I mean, how long you been with them? 
while well, get I left company? the Death Star. I left yeah. the Death Star. Oh, you did leave yeah. the Death Star. But I gave a couple weeks notice, so me and Lord Vader, my boss, we're still cool. Yeah, you guys are tight. What are the benefits like? Pretty good? Uh, terrible benefits. Oh, I know. Terrible benefits. It sucks. I yeah. just feel like um, just regular entry-level employees. Can't really talk about it, because you can get forced choked from anywhere. Yeah. So if I mention it, Oh, I exactly. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Hey, listen, you mind if we take a selfie? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, that'd be great. Let's go. We'll be right back, guys.